What would they say about us here in Alabama? To say we have got it for a change. We're thinking about the folks that work for us and make it happen on any of these jobs. The owners of the system are not going to give it to you. They never have. It's the workers that's the key. Every benefit, including the minimum wage, which is much too low, has been earned by the sweat and blood of workers during the Depression period to get the little that they have today. Most importantly, what we have got to do is reverse the trend by which it is harder and harder for workers to come together to form a union. In the case of Amazon, let's be clear, you're dealing with an enormously profitable corporation owned by the wealthiest guy in America, Jeff Bezos. They can afford to pay their workers living wages and provide decent benefits. Power rests with people who are organized and are willing to stand up and fight for their rights. You have the right to have dignity. You have the right to have decent health care, decent housing, if you get together and if you organize. And if the folks in Bessemer can do that, it will be a shot heard around the world and I think give a lot of encouragement to other workers who would like to join unions. All of these big businesses, they come together and they form unions. But if the people who have money are able to come together, why is it that working people, low-income people, are unable to come together to form unions? When you are alone and you're getting low wages and bad working conditions, you don't have a whole lot of power. You can go to your employer, maybe they'll do something, maybe they won't. But when you stand together and you engage in collective bargaining, when you fight for a decent contract, you're going to improve life for all of the workers in your plant. So I just want to thank you. I know it's not easy. I know that Amazon is putting a lot of pressure on you to vote against the union. But I hope that you guys stand together, do the right thing. And the message will go out that if workers can prevail in forming a union and increasing their wages and benefits in Alabama, it can be done all over this country. If you do decide to form a union, if that is your decision, I will be there. Thank you very much. <laughs>